You're watching Take Two. Welcome back. It's 8 away. The Kumu Kahua is opening their 52nd season with two productions for the whole community to enjoy. That's right. And Dallas Ontiveros, he joins us live with more on what you can see. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine and Chris Lutronic. And this is pretty exciting because this is the first time we're here for Take Two. And here joining us right next to us is our friend Dan Secchi, who's an actor and Kumu Kahua Theater board member. Good morning, Dan. Thanks Good for joining morning. us. Good morning. Glad to be here. So how are, excited are you for tonight's show, Lucky Come Hawaii? We're excited. This is the second live show in the theater uh, since all of the bad things that happened. Right. Um, uh, we just finished Aloha Las Vegas and uh, Lucky Come Hawaii opens tonight. What time? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Yeah. Happening Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, Thursday, is that right? Friday, Saturday at seven o'clock, Sundays at two o'clock. And taking a look here at this area, like I said, this is our first time here. It's so intimate. It's small, but it, you get to see all the expressions of the actors, and you really get a good feel of the story. So mm -hmm. having an in-person audience just adds a whole other element to the experience. It, it's, it's it's an essential element for, yes. for the actors. Mm -hmm. It's really important because, you know, uh, during the pandemic, we did shows, but they were all digital. They were mm -hmm. all streamed. And uh, it just you're just losing something when you don't yeah. look out there and, and feel the audience. It's not the same. No. It's not the same. And, and as performers, we feed off our audience. Absolutely. So that energy is going to be great. Absolutely. Let's talk about Lucky Come Hawaii. For people who haven't heard of this show, what's it about? Uh, written by John Shirota, who uh, lived on the mainland for m much of his life, but uh, still retained his Hawaii roots. Uh, it's about a family. Um, uh, an Okinawan family uh, living on Maui uh, just prior to the attack on Pearl Harbor. Mm. Uh, and then the attack on Pearl Harbor happens and the events that uh, occur after the attack on Pearl Harbor. Um, so it's, it's, there's some funny elements to it. Yeah. There's a lot of funny elements to it, actually. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of the, the miss conception is that the right word um mm -hmm. the idea that most of them are first generation uh immigrants from okinawa and uh for them uh returning home is always the the goal mm -hmm. and they always feel as though they are from there mm -hmm. um uh and that's their country yeah and so when they hear that uh that japan is attacking pearl harbor and attacking the hawaiian islands um nationalism comes to play right so yeah. it's like oh wow well, japan's now going to take over hawaii mm -hmm. and i am now going to be upper yeah. class citizen because yeah. i'm japanese as opposed to now uh being farmers um on molokai i mean sorry on, on maui uh in a remote area of maui uh you know they're Second class, third class citizens, you know, yeah. they're not they're not up there in the social strata, so to speak. It's an important story and it's the first time it's being performed here at the theater? Uh, no, we've done this before. Okay. Uh, so this is a remount if you want to look at it yeah, that way. Um, a good reminder. But um, mm -hmm. completely different because mm -hmm. it's always going to be different when you have different actors, different director and so yeah. forth. Yeah. Well, perfect. Well, thank you so much, Dan, for sharing a little bit on what's happening tonight. Again, Lucky Come Hawaii happens at 7 o'clock tonight, Thursdays, Friday, and Saturday. If you want some more information, you can visit our website at kh12.com. But there's another production happening as well on November 14th. We're going to be talking about that in the next half hour. Reporting over here at the scene, Dallas and Veros, KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Sounds like a good one. Thank you so much, Dallas. All right, coming up, do you love putting together puzzles but hate looking for that one missing piece? Yes, always. There's always one missing piece. Well, we have more on the world's largest puzzle. That's for six.